world. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Well, howdy, ma'am. Do you think I could get a ride with you, this old cowboy? Hop on in there, sir. Let's go for a ride. Yeehaw! <laughs> cowboy boots and all. No. No cowboy boots. Okay. That's still a no-go. But I'll give you a ride, because you're hot. Hey, what's his name? Who? Never hot. Enough Gold. Yes, Never Enough Gold. This one's for you. This is a shout-out. Are you watching this? You need to be watching this video. We want to know how those cowboy boot prints got on the headliner of your old truck. Yep. That is a mystery to be solved. The inquiring minds want to know. Adios. I think Mr. Rogers had a sweater, but Jason's handing me my shoes. So allow me to put my shoes on for this little walk around video. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It is. It is a wonderful <laughs> day in the neighborhood because, not because of the shoes, although I am thankful for my shoes. And you can see the length that we go to to make sure the truck doesn't get dirty. I've been walking around all over our neighborhood without shoes on. So. This 1991 F-250 deserves it because this truck so, so cool. So 1991 F-250 XLT Lariat HD camper special truck with 74,000 original miles, which we have documented with um, about 13 service records, Carfax, and it is original mileage. So it's pretty cool to have the documentation of what this truck is and the condition is amazing um you can see that it has the colonial white with the dark charcoal interior we'll look at that in a minute and as soon as jason and i saw this one we were like this is it and if that doesn't give it enough credibility all the stuff i already said we bought it from a cowboy and you're gonna see dynamo tape gun under the hood so i think all of those things that's the pedigree for this truck am i missing anything i don't think so i don't think so so let's take a look around that exterior um, so you can see it up close and personal we'll just start at the front and walk to the back and jason's going to show you with the video camera so oh i know it <laughs> there was one other thing Yes. Stanley, because this was bought by a cowboy, or you got it from, from a cowboy. cowboy. Uh -huh. He wanted to be in this video with cowboy boots, belt, and a cowboy hat. He really did. <laughs> I can actually put a picture of that. Yeah. That would be kind of cute. If you don't know Stanley, he's our English bulldog. He's our little mascot. He is. The boss. And we, we'll get some photos of him yeah. in the truck, because he would be broken hearted if he wasn't in it. So, as I said, colonial white paint, it's in awesome condition. Um, you can see, I mean, it does have a couple of paint flaws, not a whole bunch. And, um, if you're, if we just start at the front, looking down the side, you can see it's got a couple of rock chips in it. Pretty typical of paint of this age. And then the tires on it are Toyo AT open countries. And they are the size LT 265 75 R16s and we did get the date code on them. I can't remember off the top of my head what the date code is. They're on the inside of the tires. I think so. it was 2017. 2017? Yeah, I think we'll so. We'll verify that. So yeah. look in the auction and we'll definitely have the date code on it. And sorry I'm doing this. There's some little bugs. Um, you can see looking down the side, awesome shape. There's no rust. It's all nice and clean on the bottom of the doors. 
nice and straight coming down the side. The mirrors are in good shape. Um, they put on, someone put on these protectors. You called them something, but just, I guess, oh, door protectors yeah. for the keys back in the day. And those were on both sides, which I think it's just a nice add. It's just a classy truck. And so it adds to it. And I've been really excited about getting this one to bring a trailer because this is just going to make a fantastic rig for somebody. Um, windows all look good. It's got the dual gas tanks on it. Both of them work. You'll see when we're driving it that you can flip from each one and they both work great. Same down here, nice and clean. No rust. There's inside the gas door. So this truck has been meticulously taken care of. It's a two owner truck. And here's the back tire and wheel. And these are custom wheels on it. And I don't remember the name of them. We wrote that down. Too. Ultra. Ultra. And I think they're Ultra Model 62s. 16 by 7. That does sound right. So if I'm wrong, don't shoot me because <laughs> it's kind of a cowboy truck. You know, I'm not in boots yet. That's all I have to say. You've seen me in boots and don't look good. We went to the boot barn with her daughter and uh, I was in my shorts I can normally wear yeah. and, I was, and I put the boots on. It didn't look good. I love my husband and I think he's hot and <laughs> we've been married for a long time. Cowboy boots is a no-go. Cowboy boots not happening for you. I'm so sorry to say. What about yeehaw? No. <laughs> not that let's, either. Let's just not. Let's uh. not. It just does not work for you. Did you see it? Did you look inside the gas door? Oh, <laughs> let me bring them back. <laughs> we got focused on cowboy boots. There we go. Okay, perfect. We're back in line. And bottom, I mean, this truck, it, there's no rust on it. And it is just in great, great shape. Jason's showing you down um, the rails that they're nice and straight to. Uh, we've got a tail cap on it. It does have this custom bumper um on it as well that's in super nice condition and then it has this the fifth wheel hitch on it and you can see down here it's a kurt xd extra duty uh trailer hitch which is a nice addition and it does have trailer brakes inside too and then we'll i guess should we look in this now yeah that's fine so in the back the bed's in pretty good shape there are it's pretty straight it's got the the fifth wheel connector, um, which we do have the, the big piece of it too. If you're interested in purchasing it, just we can talk about that after the auction. Um, not included with the auction, but if you want to buy it, let us know because we do have that. The bed's pretty, pretty nice. There's a couple of dents right here. And then it does have the plug here for the fifth wheel as well. So really good shape. Actually, I think this truck would be a good candidate for a bed liner, uh, spray in or drop in if you weren't gonna use it for fifth wheel, you could consider that as well. But it is it is in pretty great shape and nice for hauling, etc. You can see the back window, the top of the cab looks good, nice and clean and straight. The back of the cab here, Looks good, no rust, no issues. Um, and then we'll blow this up. It's got a, it's got a little tiny crease right here. I mean, I honestly, I'm struggling to even show you the. I, I'm showing you the stuff that you need to see, but there is not very much. Uh, just the condition of this truck is so super nice. It's got the, the dual chrome exhaust tips on it, matching wheels and tires all the way around. Jason's showing you just a couple of the paint imperfections on the bed here. There's a little touch up. And then down this side. And then we've got the door protector again. Nice and straight. No rust. Really good Northwest truck for sure. The emblems are in great shape. 
and then coming back back around to the front um everything looks really really good on this truck we did put a new bug guard there was one on previous and it was a little bit tired there are a couple of wear marks where the old one was and there's some rock chipping behind it pretty typical for the front there's a little bit of rock chipping up here but the majority of it is right back here behind the bug guard and then down here so this is the stuff that we want you to see just so you can see it but it's a relatively good shape other than that and so i think is there anything else you can think of uh exterior well we can show the lights but maybe we can do that when um we do the engine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we can do that and so let's take a look at the interior again colonial white which colonial white is a white is always a really forgiving color but this particular color really really nice because it i don't know just the because it has that kind of classic look to it it just always looks good and the paint's nice and shiny on it yeah, and the Colonial White's very close to like Wimbledon White, like on old Shelby Mustangs and yeah. old Ford Camper Specials and stuff. It's mm -hmm. it's classic, like it you is. said. It is. It's just a really, really nice color. So we'll take a look on the interior and um, and we'll start it up in a minute. And show you windows and doors. the The options on this truck are amazing too. It's got power windows, power doors. Those all work. We replace the actuators in it. Uh, the captain's chairs were an option. It's got the dual fuel tanks, which I don't know if that was an option, but it may have been. And it does have the 7.5 liter motor in it, so it's the big boy. And it runs nice and strong. And you can see the condition of this interior. Amazing. This is honestly the cleanest truck that I've seen in a long time, and I love the gray. Um, because I think it's just really nice. The carpet is an awesome shape. All of the gauges work. You'll see that when we do our driving. Um, it's got a few, a few little things just from age. So right here, you can see a couple of cracks in the door panel next to the actuator. Um, they're there, but the rest of it, the, the fabric and the rest of the door looks really really good and Jason's kind of showing you around the door itself great shape and flip down the seat so you can see in the back seat perfect it's nice that it's the that's what I forgot in the description I forgot to say super cab oh yeah I so 91 Ford F-250, XLT, Lariat, Super Cab, HD, Camper Special, 74,000 mile truck. Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> hold on a second. Came from a cowboy. Came from, that is, Look at that. honestly, like that's the proof. If you didn't believe it now, you know it's He probably took that off some cowgirl's hat, well, cowboy hat. I don't know if we should talk about this, but when we when we bought this truck, we actually bought it from this gentleman while he was on a date. Yeah. And I do feel a little bit guilty about that because he was on a date and his date was not there. Like she was waiting for him. In the restaurant. In the restaurant as we're making a deal on this truck. So as a woman, I do feel my ethical concerns are coming out because of that but it was funny how we bought it because we came pulling up and he was standing in front of it <laughs> leaned up against it yes like a cowboy yeah and we rolled down the window and we're like nice truck you want to sell it yeah and he's like yeah and we were like what you do and then we found out later that he was on a date and the girlfriend was waiting so right just had to come clean on that. This truck came first. This truck, so <laughs> you need to buy this truck because we we went to great lengths to get it. So anyways, back to the truck. This door panel, perfect condition. Everything looks great. Everything functions. All the door locks, all the window locks. Here's inside the glove box for you. It's nice and clean. Um, 
the gentleman who owned this for the majority of the time, it was owned until 2020 uh, when he sold it. He just took meticulous care of this truck. And then the seat, both seats go forward nice and easy. There's no issues. Headliner's in great shape. Light works up above. The back of cab light works as well, so you'll see that in a minute. Visors are in good condition. So that's the interior. So Jason. Hey, we're going to take a look underneath the hood. You'll see I don't have myself in the video like Leslie did, but uh, it's because I'm wearing a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and a belt. So with shorts, I didn't want you to see. So we'll go ahead and uh, open the hood. Oh, yeah, there it is. So she flipped it from in there, and then there's that little second catch lever you just got to get right there. So underneath the hood is really, really clean. It's a 460. 7.5 if you like the european term automatic transmission um just a super nice truck one of the things too is the transmission we have a receipt for it and um it was replaced in it and i can't remember the miles i think it was like 51,000 miles or 47,000 miles but we have one and that is kind of a, a weak thing in these these trucks is uh transmission and so this one has been replaced, upgraded and stuff. So that's really good uh, news. So um, it's not a horrible problem, but sometimes they had issues. So that's one of the questions that someone always asks us about um, old body style, OBS and, and brick nose trucks. So uh, anyways, the other thing I want to look at is inside the, the aprons. Hasn't been hit. Super important. Look how clean the firewall is. Very, very clean. Up here around the nose. Again, looks really, really good. Really cool there, a body buck tag. So when it was going down the assembly line, originally, you know, remember there's no doors, no fenders, no nothing on it. That was the tag when they're building it to kind of look at stuff besides the, she the sheets. The Dynamo stickers under here that the guy made. That's the last time he had put a battery in 1112 but it has a new battery in it now, 619. Just the level of care, you know, he wanted to make sure you can, you can still read it because the whites came off at six quarts of oil, air filter, it says 1991. You can see here, transmission air filter, the part numbers, uh, air filter, part number, fram, oil, everything. So pretty cool. It's got power steering, AC, power brakes, obviously. Really clean underneath here. So go ahead and uh, fire it up. You can see it actually starts just like this too. We've already been driving it, but super clean, super smooth running engine for sure. You can see the EPA the sticker. So if you want to check with your emissions in your own town and stuff, you can double check. I don't think there's been any modifications, but just double check. You know what's legal in your state. That's we don't do that here, so um, where we live. So you're on your own on, on that. So um, anyways, uh, go ahead and rev it up. Time to rev. A lot of torque. I mean, look at the engine. Ready? I mean, yeah. Look at the body when she does this. A lot of torque on this thing. So. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. We're going to show you the lights right now. And check that out. The light works up there. So the marker lights are on. Headlights. And then high beams. Oh, blinker, sorry. What do we got on? Uh, high beams, yeah. Blinkers. Right. And we got left. And then the other thing too, look at the level of care. She took her shoes off. We didn't want to get your truck dirty because this is no reserve. It's going to a new home. It is going to a new home. So we'll go back here. I'll show you the lights back here. You got tail lights, brakes, you got blinkers, and then our reverse. 
She might run over me. You'll just see two cowboy boots back here laying. And then you can see the lights work here. You can see this little lens is broke right there. But you can see the lights are working there. And then show that cargo light real fast. Uh, on the headlight switch, you turn it to the left. Yeah, there we go. Cargo light works too. So anyways, hopefully that helps. And Leslie, let me be part of the video. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And this truck, this truck is awesome. Like, yeah. For everything you need. Totally a truck I feel comfortable riding in. And not all trucks are like that. So no. yeah, uh, mechanically really sound. Yeah. Really sound. Fantastic truck. And it's a brick nose. Come on. What's not to love about a brick nose? True. All right. Thanks. We'll show you some more stuff. Issues, no rattling, no shaking, no touchy. The brakes feel comfortable and worn in. Um, <clears throat> this truck does have the captain's chairs, as you can see. That was an option from the factory, and they're super comfortable. They're in great condition. You'll see that in the photos. Um, radio works, as you heard. The AC does work, so when we get under the hood, you'll be able to hear that fan click on but it is working which is a great ad as well Jason showing you in the glove box um, oh yeah cigarette lighter we did put new door actuators in so the windows do roll up and down nice and smooth and the power door locks work as well We'll show you the windows when we do the walk around and get under the hood. Um, what else? Am I missing anything? Uh, no. Oh, they actually, the cool thing too, I don't know if all these were equipped, but it's got a tack. Oh, you know, I was going to ask cool. that actually, because I, I don't know if that's... And overdrive. Cool. Down here, that little push button, push that. This one? Yeah, the overdrive works in it. Yep. Oh, and for fun, let's try the cruise control. Oh, and uh, let's see. see. On. So on, set, there oh, we go. Yep. yep, it's on. And we're cruising. Nice. Yeah. And the cigarette lighter did work? Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. So 
really nice cruising truck, super comfortable. I would drive this truck anywhere and it's got the long box on it. So it's perfect for hauling weekend trips if you want to take them and all those kinds of things. So we're going to do a little bit more driving around and show you all about this truck. Thanks for watching.